Hello, this is Jeremy. We are going to be talking about weird ass music. There are a couple of tunes I'd like to talk about, but first of all, Naked Echo, I Luck Cat, a couple of flowers, and uh, of course, a Yeti Blue. And this weird ass tune uh, from the 1700s that we are going to be exploring in detailed depth is the first measure. So an A to D, D, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, B, C, D. We are just going to look at this measure. This one right here. Um, we have some hints. We have a few more hints right here. Some right here. And we are going to go through this, this entire measure and get it into mu score, which is difficult to see. We are starting from the very beginning. We're going to get into Muse score, see what it sounds like, and how we can approach this tune. Um, James Jenkins' favorite, number 77, from uh, the Gao book. We are going to go through every single note, one by one, and make sure that they are correct and they are interpreted correctly. So, we're starting at the very beginning. That starts with a 16th A. Then a dotted eighth, D, then another dotted eighth, which we will get to the ornamentation of that for in just a moment. Sixteenth, E. We're going to again come back to the ornamentation, uh, if you can see this, um, in just a moment. Okay, so we have the most of the tune, or the first measure, here, captured. If we look at the notation, um, it implies that there should be a classical inverted turn on the second D. Um, so this is what, what it sounds like uh, as written. This is what it sounds like with a classical inverted turn. doesn't sound right at all. So we are going to do a little uh, little musical surgery there and make it sound correct. A little closer. So instead of the inverted turn, we have a crayon. Okay, sounds better. Uh, in the notation here from the book, uh, it shows that there's also a grace note coming from G to F sharp, which we will insert in a way that makes sense. To get this particular um, grace note uh, sounding and looking correct, um, instead of just having we do the following. We supplement um, a 64th and a dotted 32nd so that we get the appropriate time for this tune. Okay, sounding great so far. We also have a line that we need to uh, take care of. I'm just going to zoom this in for a second. And that is here. Oh, it's one of the things I like about this tune is the first measure is a sixteenth to a dotted eighth. The second measure is the same form, but it is a dotted eighth to a sixteenth. So let's again. On this E, as shown by the original, um, there is a crayon, <laughs> the wiggle, uh, from F sharp T. So we're going to go through the, the math on making that correct. So we're taking, taking the quarter note out, adding in the 32nd, the F sharp. Then a double dotted eighth. the 
the harmony because this is, um, it's pretty clear that this was a fiddle tune. So there's a C sharp below that. I'm going to add this in. The source material, material makes it rather unclear whether the trill is supposed to happen for this line or for this line. Um, musically, it's also very unclear. Uh, um, trilling on two notes like this um, doesn't make a lot of sense. Trilling on something this high for that short of period it doesn't also make very much sense so we're we will work through what that means um, that's one of the the wonderful things about a uh, working through um, traditional music and here we have it the transcription of number 77 james jenkins favorite um, after all of this work um, the toughest part is actually going to be um, up and coming playing the silly little tune but let's look at where we are now and see what it sounds like after it's, it has been transcribed. Thanks.